Hey, it's Robert Ty here at Regan's Nissan. A couple of years back, we did a video on the ProPilot Assist. We're gonna do an updated version of that today with the ProPilot Assist with the Navi Assist on it in the Platinum Rogues and Pathfinders, just to give you an idea of how this works now and some of the new features that go with it. So we're gonna go for a drive. We're gonna record a few different things and we're gonna show you how some of this stuff all reacts with the heads up display. So let's have a drive and see how it looks. All right, so we're gonna engage the Pro Pilot here in just a moment. In order to do that, your cruise control does need to be on and we are gonna to have to set it. It's gonna make use of our adaptive cruise, which right now on my heads up display, which we'll see later on, I can see I've got three car lines plus safe distance. I'm gonna drop that down a bit just for my comfort level. So we'll get to see that in a minute here. I'm gonna pick up some speed and get out. Now, I'm gonna set this a little higher than I should have it at 90 kilometers an hour, even though we're in an 80 zone, because I do want to purposely trigger some of the features. And that ding that we just heard means ProPilot is on. Up on my heads up display, everything's lit up green, but down here as well, I can see it is lit up, telling me that the ProPilot is engaged, and now I just got a vehicle within range of the adaptive crews. So we're gonna move out to go around them. Turns off the pro pilot, and now it just came back on. Because I had signaled to switch lanes, it turned it off. As soon as I'm back in and it reads the lines again, everything is set. So we're getting back up to the 90 kilometers an hour that I have the crew set for. Now with this, you do need to have your hands on the wheel, and if you don't, it will complain but it will also keep you centered in your lane. It will move that wheel for you. You can see it's moving it around there. But after a few seconds of no contact, I can see a big warning that pops up telling me, get my hands on the wheel. This is designed like this on purpose. And a little bit later, we're gonna test some of that functionality on a road with no traffic to see exactly what happens when we do not have contact with the wheel. We have a big bend in the road coming here. I'm gonna take my hands off, but keep them close by. And you can see it takes me right around the bend and straightens my wheel back out as we get around. So again, back to the big warning and then it started beeping because I still had not taken the wheel. But as you saw, it did take us right around the bend there. It does it on its own. This is designed to keep you centered in your lane is primarily designed for long drives or late night drives when you might not be as alert as you were starting out. And I can still steer this, no problem, all on my own. It will let me take over. I can override it at any given point. It's just an aid to help do what it needs to do. Now we're gonna wait for this car to go by and we're gonna move over a couple of lanes here. Now the ProPilot has stopped. I'm going to turn off my cruise here for a moment. Just move up and over as safely as possible with all the traffic. And I'm going to resume. Now this is where I want to test the Navi Assist. This is a large turn coming up. My hands right at the wheel. I'll have to edit that part out. <laughs> all right, so we've got the Pro Pilot on, Adaptive Cruise is all set, and we're back out into normal traffic where it's doing what it needs to do. All right, so we're gonna test out the limits of the Pro Pilot Assist now that we've got a road here that should give us a really good stretch here with no traffic in front of us so we can make sure it does exactly what it's supposed to do. So we're gonna let the Pro Pilot kick in, which there it is. Now we've got a bend in the road coming up. I'm gonna take my hands off the wheel for this. We do not recommend driving without your hands on the wheel, but I do want you to see how this works. So I can see my wheel turning. There's a warning popping up and this is what I want it to happen. So the warning's gonna progress to beeping. 
Now we're going to see what happens next here. So it's double pumped the brakes to try and get me to grab the wheel. And now we are slowing down to full complete stop. I'm making sure there's nothing around me. And it's got me held in place. My parking brake has engaged. So we're going to begin again. That is the safety feature around this. What it did when it double pumped the brakes there was it thought that I had fell asleep. It's trying to wake me up. And when I still didn't get the wheel, it takes me down to a full complete stop as we saw, because at that point it thinks there's a medical emergency preventing you from getting to the wheel. And once it took me down to a full complete stop, it engaged the parking brake. So great feature. The only thing to be aware of is obviously we are in the middle of the road. When it does this, it does not pull you off of the road. So it works extremely well. And as you notice, it has also turned my cruise off once it stopped.